Welcome to the knowledge of research. Here we are going to learn inductive and deductive research methods. Inductive research method. Inductive research starts with specific observation then and to generalizing theory. It is also known as qualitative research. Qualitative research is used to gain a deeper understanding of the subject. So, inductive research or qualitative research can be used to gain a deeper understanding of the subject or matter. It helps to develop ideas or hypotheses. It is used to uncover trends in thoughts and opinions. Common methods used are focused groups, individual interviews and observation in inductive research. So, inductive research starts with observation and reach to theory. It is also known as qualitative research. It develops ideas and hypotheses. Now we can see the deductive research. Deductive research starts with theory, which then end to conclusion. Deductive research is also known as quantitative research. Quantitative research is a way of collecting numerical research or data which then can be converted into usable statistics. A deductive approach is aimed to testing theory. Common methods used in deductive approach are questionnaires and surveys. So, deductive research starts with theory then and to conclusion. It is also known as quantitative research. Quantitative research or deductive research used statistical tools to test a theory. Now we can see the differences of inductive and deductive research. If we consider purpose, we can see an inductive approach is concerned with generation of new theory emerging from the data. On the other hand, a deductive approach is aimed to testing theory. If we consider start to end, then we can see inductive research starts with observation and end result is theory. On the other hand, deductive research starts with the proposition of hypothesis and the end result of the research is confirmation or rejection. If we consider hypothesis, we can see in inductive research we don't use any hypothesis. On the other hand, in deductive research we need to use specific hypothesis and bound to follow. If you consider structure, we can see inductive research is less structured as there is no guiding factor. On the other hand, a deductive research is highly structured because there is some specific aim to be accomplished. If we consider sample, we can see small numbers of sample are analyzed with greater gravity in inductive research. On the other hand, in deductive research, large number of samples are analyzed with less depth. Now we can see if we consider direction, inductive research is a bottom to up approach. I mean, it starts with observation then pattern then theory so inductive research starts with general observation then reach to particular theory on the other hand deductive research is a top to down approach i mean it starts with theory then hypothesis then observation after that confirmation or rejection so we can say deductive research starts with a particular theory then it reaches to a general conclusion if you consider method, inductive research is a method of discovery. On the other hand, the deductive research is a method of verification. Now we can see more details about the deductive research. Deduction is the reasoning process that draws a conclusion from the logical relationship to two assertions. I mean, from the deductive research, we will get two assertions. One assertion is known as broad judgment or definition, and another one is a more specific assertion, I mean, often known as inference or conclusion. The two assertions that found the basis of deductive argument are called premises. I mean, assertions is called as premises, and one premise is known as major premise, and another premise is known as minor premise. The major premise of a deductive argument are either a broad judgment or a definition. On the other hand, a minor premise is usually an inference about a particular personal situation. Now we can see the example of deduction. Homosexuality is an immoral act because it unnatural and is a contradiction to God's law of procreation. Thus, homosexuality should be banned. Here. 
the major premise i mean the judgment or definition is all acts that are unnatural and contradict god laws are immoral homosexuality contradicts god law of procreation so the minor premise or the inference or conclusion is homosexuality is immoral and should be banned thank you <laughs>